And with Kenyans expected to start receiving third generation identity cards, also known as Maisha cards, from next week, Immigration and Citizens Services Principal Secretary Julius Bitok has hosted members of the civil society to a stakeholders engagement forum on the implementation of the digital ID and the unique personal identifier UPI. Addressing the press, Bitok assured Kenyans that the document being brought on board is secure and is going to be a game changer. On his part, Amnesty International Executive Director Irungu Hutton said as right organizations, they will make sure that the design of the UPI and the third generation digital ID is based on three principles, namely public safety, inclusion and public trust. President William Bruto is set to launch the new cards at the end of this month. All right. If there are no questions, it's okay. We are implementing this national digital identity project because it's going to be a game changer. Because through national digital identity, the government will, will guarantee Kenyan people of the security of the documents because we are going to have a system which is foolproof that's going to ensure that whatever document you have is authentic and that whatever you want to transact with whatever you want to go to the hospital with it every institution whether it is banks whether it's hospitals whether it's educational institutions you have a document that is able to reflect who you are and is also clear and is also accurate in as far as identity is concerned so today we are here to build public confidence we are here to guarantee the the country that the document we are bringing we are bringing on board is a secure document and it will be an all-inclusive document that is going to eliminate marginalization of communities public safety um, ensuring that data protection that your privacy as kenyans is protected by design not by not by accident but by design Secondly, that there is inclusion, that for those communities that have been marginalized, denied their right to citizenship, denied their right to a state um, and to a very identity, that that should not happen um, in this process, that actually the beauty of this new system is to make sure that all are included. The third area relates um, to the issue of public trust. One of the challenges we have generally in this country is trust and making sure that Kenyans are comfortable, they understand, they are aware of the implications and the opportunities of becoming digital citizens.